come off at totality, you're not going to see anything. Nothing. So make sure that filter's off. A story that happened, kind of the flip of what you're saying, to show you how this really does work, the 1999 eclipse that ran across England and Europe over to the Black Sea and into, into Turkey, there was a man who was driving along on the Autobahn. You know, Autobahn equals fast. And he was on his way, I guess, to see the eclipse. Decided to put his glasses on while he is on the Autobahn to see how the eclipse was progressing. And he got totaled. C and Ho would have been very proud of his, of his demise. So just the opposite. You gotta take those glasses, you gotta take those filters off at totality, you will see nothing. You will be eclipsed, all right. Here, I don't see anything. Okay? Yes. So well, the time of totality depends on the geometry of the Earth Sun Moon relationship. And totality is the longest around Carbondale, Illinois, where it's 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Um, Oregon, I think it's like around 2 minutes. By the time it gets out towards um, like Charleston or North Charleston, South Carolina, it's like about 2 minutes and 20 seconds because during that shadow will continue to go on out into the Atlantic Ocean. The eclipse isn't over, it's just over on continental United States. The fish get to see the eclipse next. Yes, please. That's why I do this all the time. My students will say, Dr. Reynolds, what do you think about this? I said, what was your question? So I, I <laughs> come back and see me. That's fine. So, so the big thing with that, that question about, you know, uh, okay, uh, as an engineer, you optimize. Uh, so the optimal place is, okay, I get uh, three seconds more here than I do over there. Uh, the big optimization is where is it most likely to be? You, Arlen, you hit it right there. Remember where I said, Where's the pl best place to observe? Where it's clear. And that's truly it. I'm going to St. Joe and um, helping Michael Bockage of Astronomy Magazine with their big event there. But we've all got eye on the sky. I know I can go west towards Nebraska or east more into Missouri, Kentucky, Illinois if I need to. So I kind of picked that spot to help Michael in this what a great opportunity for outreach. This is our Apollo era today. For those of us who grew up dur during that and got interested in astronomy and space, this is our opportunity here. So I want to do outreach. I know it's weird. Professional astronomers wanting to do outreach? Oh my gosh. Well, yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to share this with people. And um, I'm going to tell you what, be prepared. You've got the biggest astronomy club in the world, you may have the biggest one in the universe after this. Because people are going to get turned on to astronomy again. We've been waiting for the great comet to get people back out or another Mars apparition. This eclipse. This is our opportunity. Okay, good. It's actually, um, yeah, there was one made for Neef. I was at the Northeast Astronomy Forum, and they did tape that so you can go to, to, to the Neef. Yeah, and it's very similar to this one. Um, maybe not quite as spirited as this one, but yeah, the Neef website will have it. So you can definitely go to Neef. This, this one will be up on our website. Other questions? All right, so let me ask one last question myself. Maybe I should close my eyes. No, I'm not going to. How many of you planning on going to the eclipse, to totality? All right, I shouldn't see every hand up in here. You really got, you got to do this. You just got to. Don't make it a bucket list thing. You got to get to totality. Again, if you even have an inkling of life in your body, you got to get to see it. It's, it's something that's, you know, will change your life. It truly will. So thanks again. Thanks for having me here. I'm so glad to be here. Sorry about the heat and the clouds, but at least it's cloudy now and not August 21st. That's when you don't want your telescope to arrive. Thanks, everybody.